Hello all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and if this is the first time you have been to my channel, welcome as well. I'm gonna be doing a seven day challenge series just to help you with getting a bit more consistent in your workout. So every day there will be a workout for only 10 minutes. There will be 10 moves. Each move is about 50 seconds with a 10 second rest in between, hitting every part of your body. There is no equipment required, just yourself and a mat and some space in your house and then you can get it going. Hopefully after doing this for seven days, if you still feel itching to work out, you will continue and do the set again for another seven days and just slowly build up your habits. So let's hit the mat. Hi team, it's all about the thighs today. So 10 minutes of inner and outer thigh work, body weight is all you need. Start standing, balancing on your left leg and right leg is gonna kick out to the side, squat and kick. That right leg all the way up, Point the toes, try to see if you can lift that leg up to about hip level or wherever your hips will let you go today. Standing leg will always have a little bit of bend in it. Apart from your thighs, of course, you are working other bits of your body like your core, stability and balance, and also your hip flexors, those muscles that are important to stop you from falling over. Also slimming down the sides of those legs. You got 10 more seconds to go. Otherwise, if you want to take it up a notch today, try to do it without any rest and keep going for your full minute on each exercise. Good. All right, rest it out. Otherwise, keep going because we're going to just do that all on the other side. Balancing on your right leg with a slight bend. Coming into a little squat and lift. Leg, remember, is lifted up to about hip height. Well, that's the aim. If you want to know how high you need to go. Toes pointed or flexed. I find that on one leg I get calf cramps. If that is the case for you, you can have your toes more flexed in towards you rather than pointed. Ten more seconds, team. All right, we're coming down to the ground, onto the left-hand side. Top leg is bent, bottom leg is straight, flexed or pointed. Top hand to the hip, and we're gonna just lift that bottom leg up and down. You're aiming to get that leg just below the knee or to the line of the knee on the back leg. Try to keep your body and torso nice and still if possible by pulling that belly button into the spine. We will not be on the elbows too much, especially if your shoulders are feeling a little bit niggly. But this is also to work the waist at the same time. And it takes the pressure off your lower back to lift up that leg. Alright, keep lifting, we're almost done. These are definitely inner thigh works right here. Good. All right, so we're coming down to the ground. We're going to use the arm as a pillow. That top leg is still going to be bent. The bottom leg is going to be straight. You're going to roll the hips forward a little bit so the hips are as stacked as you can. And then you're sweeping your bottom leg forward to the horizontal or as much as the leg will go straight to the front and then tap it back. But the whole leg stays off the ground now. Now, in case you're wondering, your top knee is not pointed directly to the roof, but it's actually slightly on a forward angle so that your hips can be stacked. And your top hand is just in front, maybe, for a bit of balancing. I use that for, if you don't need it, feel free to bring it back onto the hip. This is still definitely working that inner thigh muscle there. All right, so we're gonna keep that leg forward now onto that slightly diagonal or horizontal line. And from that position, we're gonna to try to lift it up. Toes can be pointed or flexed, remember, you choose. 
and we're just taking the leg straight up and down halfway. So we're not dropping that leg all the way down to the mat anymore because we want to keep that heaviness in that thigh working strong. Lifting it off the ground uses your outer thighs and moving it up and down uses your inner thighs a little bit harder. That's it. All right, we're going to hold it up there and pulse. That's what that finger gesture means. We're going to keep it nice and high and pulse it faster, up and down. Flick, flick, little bits. 10 more seconds of pulsing. And then we'll change it to something else. Nice work. Feel free to keep going with that. Otherwise, you're going to stack the legs and move the, the feet slowly to the corner of the front of the mat like I have. Hands in front. And we're going to zip up the legs, press them together. It's like a mermaid's tail. And you're going to lift those legs up together now, up and down. The hand on the ground is just there for a bit of balance. Try not to bounce the torso too much. Think about nice long legs from the hip joint all the way down to the toes. Lengthen and then float and lift. Hopefully your thighs are feeling it now. But don't worry, we are almost done with this side. You've just got one more side to go and it's more than halfway. Perfect, and relax it through. All right, we're coming over to the other side. Right arm is down, elbows down, lift up through that torso. Top leg bent, bottom leg pointed, and let's lift. Straight up and down, up to knee height. Oh, I can tell on this side I'm not as flexible as the other side because it wasn't going as high. You might be the same case where one side is a little bit nicer or stronger than the other. I shouldn't say nicer, just because a leg lifts higher doesn't mean it's necessarily nicer. That's not how we define nice. All right, 20 more seconds to go. Pull your belly button in, lift out of the shoulders. A lot of things to think about here as your legs start to get tired. Try not to lose that form. Great work. We're lying all the way down. Remember to tip that hip forward. Bottom leg is floating in the air. And we're about to kick that leg forward and back to the horizontal line or diagonal line. See how my bottom thigh doesn't really touch the ground. You want to try to lift it up there as well if you can. So that one, your pants don't scrape along the ground and you don't cause too much friction. But secondly, it works your leg muscles just that little bit stronger. Kick, kick, kick through. Good job, Tim. We've only got two more exercises to go. And then that means you are done for the thigh work. Excellent. All right, so take a rest, bring that leg all the way forward to the diagonal or horizontal, wherever it will allow you to go. Always on the angle, it's a little bit harder to lift. Toes flexed or pointed. And up we come, off the ground. Don't forget to keep pulling your belly button in to keep the torso from moving. And we're still continuing to lift the leg. And then that motion means hold it up into the air and pulse it out. Stay up high. That leg just stays in the air now, flicking it through. I hope you're feeling a little bit of burn there coming through to that inner thigh area. All right, very last exercise to go, team. You've got this. Zip up those legs together, have the toes slightly into the front corner, 
hands just on the ground, tummy muscles in because you want to stabilize the hips from rolling about. And we're lifting straight up and down. Thighs touching together. It's tricky to keep the thighs together because that requires your inner thigh, which is generally a quite a small muscle to keep activated the whole time. 30 seconds of your life is all I need here. And then you can go about your day. Or continue working out with me if you want a little bit more. All right, 10 more seconds. So close. Excellent, guys. Release it out. Come on up. If you want to do a stretch more, I've got a post-workout stretch on my channel. Otherwise, do your own little stretches. Don't forget. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.